All right, today we're going to be changing the hub on a boat trailer. Went and picked it up yesterday, got it here, and noticed that the back hub was broken. I've had some noise coming out of that one just prior to this. Wasn't sure exactly what it was, but as you can see, it is definitely broken apart replace the other one on the other side and this is the one with the brake on it it's got drum brakes I replaced the one on the other side about two years ago went to a local shop trailer shop and got this stuff uh, here it's pretty nice it's already got the bearings and seals and everything already greased and in place ready to just be slipped up on there and of course I got the dust cap here as well so pretty good deal uh, guys that glide will trailers some of the best folks around when it comes to working on trailers they got they got everything you need so <clears throat> but yeah I got a 99 four winds boat we've had it for almost 10 years now been working really well finally got it back this year I've had some trouble with the, the engine not running right and running a little warm and just needed a basic tune-up so we're gonna get this swapped out today maybe be back on the water so all right got the jack underneath it got the lugs already broke loose while it was on the ground now I'm gonna just take these off I forgot my, my tools I'm not at home. I'm here at the storage unit. I didn't think I'd make it home with it, so as you can see, it's pretty, pretty jacked up. So I'll get this taken off, and then we'll see what we look like on the inside. Okay, we got the wheel off. Got it sitting over there. Of course, it's got grease all over it. We'll get that cleaned up before we put it back on. But you can see that busted inside there too is set down so we'll get this pin out the cutter key we'll take the castle nut off pull that hub and inspect the spindle make sure we didn't damage anything there if not we'll get it all cleaned up get the new one put back on sealed back down be ready to go to the lake all right we got the Cotter pin out, castle nut off, and it looks like that outside bearing just wore slap out. My wife, of course, my wife heard it a couple, last couple of times we went. She said that back tire is making a lot of noise back there. Of course, you know, what does she know? Well, turns out she was right. So, brake pads look good. So we'll just get all this out of here get it cleaned up wipe down good hopefully we'll be getting able to go another 10 years on this thing so I'll get this all cleaned up and then we'll go from there well it wasn't pretty but I had to take the whole drum apart brake system and used a cutoff wheel That that racing was on there. I couldn't get it off. I even used sandpaper to smooth down the spindle, and it just wasn't but wouldn't budge. So took the cut off wheel, just cut it off, and it just slid right off. So now we're ready to put the drum back together. Maybe I can remember how that goes. Got most of my parts there, there, and there. And we'll get that back together. Get the springs on, make sure the tension's right on it. And then we'll slide the new hub on. Should be good to go. All right, we've got the brake assembly together. Now all we got to do is put the hub back on. Let's see if I can get a hold of that. Alright, I 
I got it there. I'm gonna slip it on right quick and then we'll see how it does. Okay, when installing this, make sure to take this outer bearing out as you slide it on. That way you don't hit it and knock it in the dirt. Ask me how I know that. But it's on there. Uh, get the castle nut started back on. Let's see, I got a spacer spacer washer that goes in there. Let me get that on there first. Again, this castle nut does not go on real tight. It seats it, gets it where it's supposed to be, and then you lock it in place. Let me get everything situated and I'll get that started and show you how that goes. Alright, got it all put back together. Got the wheel back on, dust cap in place. And hopefully we will be ready to hit the lake tomorrow. Turned out to be a little more of a job than I expected. Had... When it had fallen down the hub the other hub broke and fell down it actually hit the the backing plate and caused it to be bent just a little bit so every time the hub would spin it was rubbing on the well it actually kicked the brake pad out just a little bit and would cause the rotor actually rub against that so had to manipulate the backing plate a little bit so that brake pad would sit back in that groove like it was supposed to but Got it all back together. Got to get a spare tire. About time to change all the rest of them as well. They've been on there just a little bit, but. Yep, we'll be back on the water tomorrow. So, like I said, that's the second one I've replaced. I've replaced the other one about two, maybe three years ago on the other side. And the front, front axles don't have brakes on them. They're just straight spindles, so. Not a lot of maintenance to them other than just greasing them up. I believe the outer bearing on this one broke or wore out. And when it did, it just broke that collar off the hub and dropped down. I guess I'll listen to my wife next time when she says there's something wrong with that tire. Probably should have jacked it up. Could have saved myself a lot of trouble, but oh well. It is what it is. We got her back together, and uh, hopefully this helps some of y'all out.